everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate the Bissell Premier Deep Cleaner. I've done an unboxing and assembly of this machine if you want to check that video out. But this is purely a demonstration of how it cleans carpets. I vacuumed the area thoroughly beforehand and I'm just going to show you how to fill the machine and then basically demonstrate it and we'll see the results. This Bissell uses the tank in tank system so you have a flexible bladder in the middle of this rigid outer tank and into the bladder you put two capfuls of Bissell solution and top that up with hot water from the tap, not boiling water, you can go up to 60 degrees in temperature. So two capfuls of the solution into the tank, top it up with water, give it a bit of a, a swirl about to make sure that the shampoo is mixed in with the water then you pop the tank on obviously I filled it but you'd normally take it to the sink obviously to fill it put the tank on and there's two clips either side make sure that they're clipped in correctly before you lift the tank in order to put it onto the machine I always recommend using Bissell shampoo in your machine because they'll give you the best results. Now because this carpet is in a home with pets, I'm using Bissell's Wash and Protect Pet Formula. This removes tough pet stains and odours and it also has Scotchgard in it which helps prevent future resoiling. All I have to do now is pop the tank back onto the machine, making sure it's properly located. And then we're ready to start cleaning. For the purpose of the video, I'm obviously not going to show you me cleaning the whole carpet, it would take too long, so you'll just get highlights of the job and you'll see the finished result. When you're using a carpet washer, go slowly, much slower than you would vacuum. With a Bissell, you're supposed to go slowly forward and back while squeezing the solution trigger. Once you've made two wet passes, then you go over the same area again using dry strokes in order to remove as much of the dirty solution as you can. Okay, let's go. I'll recline the handle, press the power button, and we'll just do a patch of this carpet in the dirtiest area. Because of the carpet and the lighting I've got in this room, it may be a little bit hard for you to see on camera the clean stripe that this Bissell has left. But believe you me, it is a lot, lot cleaner. It is damp, but I could go over it a couple more times, dry passes, just to remove a little bit more of the solution. Right, we'll do some more shots, close-up shots. There's a particular stain, a dirty area here. Again, I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but... Uh, We'll go over that with a Bissell.
hoping this shot might demonstrate the effectiveness of this Bissell, apart from the fact of the colour of the water. I think even on camera you should be able to see where the Bissell's been. That little strip in front of the door, I haven't gone over yet. You can see there's a marked difference between the area I've Bissell'd and the area that has yet to be deep cleaned. OK, it's time to empty the dirty water. And all I've cleaned in this part of the demonstration is basically, well, two square metres of carpet. And this is the most heavily soiled area of this living room. OK, then let's have a look at the dirty water. Now, if you've been picking up some particularly nasty messes, and I don't have to go into detail what they may be, you might be better to dispose of the dirt down your toilet or outside drain. But because I want to show you the dirt in here, I'm going to pour it down my sink. There's a little lip here, a little opening, where you're supposed to pour the dirty water. And wow, it is dirty. Let's hope we can see this. I think I'll zoom in a bit, and you'll see all the dirty water coming out of the tank. OK, it's now time to refill the clean water tank, so providing you're using genuine Bissell, it's two of the black capfuls, you get this measure cap included, up to the line, two of those per full tank. If you've only got a small area to clean, you could, I suppose, put just one capful in, but don't fill the bladder, obviously, to the brim, just half fill it. OK, just need to top it up. This is where I fill the water and uh, we'll carry on with the cleaning. Before you lift the tank up to put back in your Bissell, make sure that the lid is securely in place. So you just locate it at the top of the tank and there are two grey catches either side. So before you just pick that up and go off to the Bissell, make sure it's on secure because you don't want to be picking the top up and the tank falling down and making a right mess of your floor. That's definitely secure, so I can use the carry handle and take the tank back to the Bissell. If you've got a very stubborn stain, you can use Bissell's Clean Shop feature, which will direct cleaning solution right on the stain, and then you can leave it to soak for a couple of minutes and then go over with the machine. OK, I'm just going to finish cleaning this area of carpet and before the end of the video I'll show you how the attached cleaning tools work. change in tone of the motor it means that the automatic float valve has blocked off the suction so you have to empty the machine. This Bissell Premier comes with an onboard hose and three attachments. The hose is permanently attached to the machine. When the machine's in the upright position the suction is automatically diverted through the hose. So you just have to release the hose from the machine and now you can clean your upholstery, your stair carpeting, 
and even your car interiors. Now this won't reach right up a standard flight of stairs, you'll be able to clean about halfway and then you'll have to clean the remaining of the stairs with the machine at the top, but always take great care when you're using the machine above you. This nozzle has been used, it's a bit dirty, this is the general tough stain brush, you can use this for your upholstery, for spot cleaning, if there's a small accident on the carpet you just need to concentrate on that, you can use this nozzle. The spraying crevice tool is stored on board too, you simply press the button to release it and it fits onto the end of the hose just like the other accessories. Now you can spray solution directly from this jet right down to the end of the nozzle. This is ideal for cleaning right up against your skirting boards, down the sides of your sofas and inside your car. It concentrates the solution right to the head. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. And the third nozzle, which to be honest I've never used, is the turbo brush. It fits on just the same way as the other nozzles. This is a bit like a turbo brush on a vacuum cleaner. You have a rotating brush that is powered by the suction of the machine. The suction on this cleaner isn't as great as many vacuum cleaners, so I found this pretty ineffective. But I'll show you it going anyway. It's got two settings, brush and suction. So basically you have the spray, which sprays on the solution, and then you agitate the solution using the brush and then when you want to remove the solution up the front of the nozzle you go onto the suction mode. I'll just switch it on and show you the brush rotating. As you can see, it doesn't spin very fast, it's certainly not as fast as the brushes on the cleaner itself, but it might be useful to help remove ingrained stains, especially useful perhaps on your stairs, or you could use it on your car mats. Well, for the example of the demonstration, I've got a footstool here. I might as well try out the turbo brush, but I'll probably end up finishing with the tough stain brush. Being brown, this footstool isn't going to show the dirt, but it is used as a dog bed so it's going to be a bit smelly and it will have some ingrained dirt in there. So to use the turbo brush, I'm going to make sure it's in brush mode. I'm going to squeeze the trigger just under here to release the solution. I'll agitate the solution into the pile and then I'll suction it up. Surprisingly, this turbo brush was more effective than I expected it to be. Yes, the brush doesn't rotate at high speed, but it did continue to rotate even when I was putting it down onto the material. It's damp, obviously, but uh, I did notice quite a lot of dirty water coming up here, much to my surprise. So, before I show the other tools, I'm just going to have a look at the dirty water in the container. Bear in mind that it was completely empty before I started this. It had fresh solution in. The dirty water part was empty. And all I've cleaned is this footstool. I'll just see if I can pour some of it into this bowl without it going all over the carpet. But it won't matter if it does. I'll just bristle it up again. <laughs> Whoops. Right, spilt a little bit. But I think most of that's clean water that's come out of the solution tank. Right, again it's hard to tell, really, it's a bit foamy, but considering that's from a footstool, well, what more can I say, that's pretty impressive. Well, that's the end of my demonstration of the Bissell Power Wash Premier. It's a definite thumbs up from me. This is a carpet washer I currently use all the time. I do test many other carpet washers but this is the model I'm keeping, unless something better comes along. So it's a thumbs up, definitely for me. If you won't take my word for it, the Consumers Association, which also grant this a best buy. 
It does a fantastic job of cleaning the carpets, it leaves them relatively dry and even the cleaning tools are pretty impressive. One thing I will say against it, it does, for when you clean a large area, it does require quite a lot of constant refilling and emptying and it is quite a big, heavy, bulky machine. So best suited for larger areas of carpet and people who can handle a bigger machine. If you want something a little bit lighter, I recommend the Bissell Deluxe. You'll find a review of that also on my channel. If you have any questions about this model, please ask in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.